once you've got all the rocks out of the way I just make sure that the bottom of the pit is flat so that when you install your new pump it'll sit properly at the bottom of the pit uh, you want to go ahead and get your fitting for the sump pump it's an inch and a half coupling and we're going to glue that fitting to some new pipe we need to put some new pipe in this one because it's going to be a little bit longer once you've got your pipe glued in go ahead and screw uh, the sump pump fitting into the pump pick up the pipe the power cord and the pump you don't want to get your power cord wet so you place that off to the side and set your pump new pump down in the pit make sure it's seated real nice and then you want to cut off your excess pipe at the new check valve notice that the check valve arrows are pointed up we've secured the check valve to the pipe that's going out of the wall we're cutting the pipe to length so that it will fit inside the coupling of the check valve and that should seat up all the way into the bottom of the coupling of the check valve tighten all the check valve clamps and once you have your clamps tightened down you can simply go ahead and hook up power once your power is hooked up if you've got water in the pit it will drain out you can observe the water leaving the pit here the sump pump float switch is in the on position and as it drained it's going to uh, remove the water and the sump pump float switch will turn off once you know that your sump pump is working and it's removing the water from the pit you can go ahead and put some tie wraps onto uh, the power cord just to keep it nice and tight up against uh, your pipe and also where depending on where your electrical outlet is it'll keep it from coming unplugged I'm Chris watch all our how-to videos right here on Atlantic Drain